Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are you? And yes, I have all the Shadow High dolls finally because they finally popped up in Vegas. It only took like a week. I mean, I, I wasn't looking that hard, but like, you know, I needed them. So like, it felt like it was like two months already. So um, yeah, but Chanel now has all of her friends here and I can't wait to see them all on the shelf. So welcome to Shadow High Week on my channel. And today we're actually going to be starting with Heather because she's my second favorite. And we're going to go down the line of my favorites to my least favorite. So, you know, on the last day, it's probably my least favorite, but who knows, maybe my opinions will change on that doll but anyways guys before we get into heather let me just roll my intro real quickly and we can get started yeah Hello? i just hit an ariana grande note hi Okay, guys, so today we're going to start off Shadow High Week by looking at Heather Grayson. She is my second favorite, but I'm going to do my ranking all over again once I have them all out of the box. So uh, we'll see who's my favorite, actually, okay? I found all of the Shadow High dolls at Walmart. They cost $29.97 or $29.98. Depends really where you get them. I think at Target, they'll be like $29.99. And these are slowly creeping up at Walmarts. Like, they just kind of started randomly appearing, like, last week in California. And now they're showing up uh, almost, like, all over the United States. So... Um, um, yeah, today they actually do go on sale for pre-order and uh, I'm not going to link them down below. You guys could just go to, you know, you can find that yourself. I'm sorry. They also are going to be released on the 25th officially. So if you don't find them now, um, they'll be available on the 25th. I, I don't know. All are subject to availability. Yeah. But anyways, guys, if you haven't watched my first Shadow High review, I'm going to link it down below. It's Chanel Onyx, of course, the most iconic Shadow High character at the moment. But like I mentioned in Chanel's review, they have a completely new box. So instead of them being on the left, they're on the right and vice versa. Um, I've kind of gotten used to how they look now because like everyone's been talking about Shadow High like religiously and I kind of forgot about Rainbow High, you know? So, uh, yeah. So on the top, it says Series 1 Heather Grayson and it says Let Your True Colors Shine. And you can see the top is black and there's still like a holographic rainbow shift to the packaging. So it's not completely black, but yeah. You can see Heather in the middle. She's looking really cute. And there is a black YouTube sticker. I really should keep one of these, but I just know I'm not going to do it. So whatever. On the side, it says Shadow High. It's in a shifty holographic fonting and I really like it. It kind of reminds me of like a CD. And on this side, we can see her second outfit. It's reminding me of Pretty and Punk Megan. If you have that brass doll, um, that was my first and only brass doll as a kid. So that's how I know. And there is her shoes. And I noticed that all the boxes that were at the Walmart are like scratched up and beat up. So it's good that I'm an out of box collector. And on the bottom, we can see all of the artwork for all the new characters. And it goes all the way around. And on the back, it says Shadow High. It shows all of the characters once again. And it says Rainbow High has officially met its match. Expect the unexpected from the fine art school of Shadow High. And if you're looking for Heather Grayson, here is her barcode. Go ahead and take a screenshot of this and scan away. Okay, guys, so we've basically gone over the box. There's not much to talk about. We had to talk about the physical doll. So, um, you know what? Let's get her open, shall we? And she's out of the box. And it wouldn't be a Zombie X Corn video without me cutting my hands somehow by cutting open the box. Yeah. But before we get into Heather, I'm going to show you everything that Heather comes with. And then we can move on to her iconicness. Yeah. Heather comes with a brand new Shadow High stand. As I mentioned in my Chanel review, they do have a new base. It is very cool. It's studded and it says SH in the middle. And it has a thinner clip that they introduced last summer. She comes with a Shadow High comb. It is also different. It has spikes on the top and it says SH. She comes with her second outfit, her second pair of shoes, and a survey sheet. For whatever reason, Shadow High dolls don't come with hangers anymore, so um, interesting. I wonder if that's going to carry on to Rainbow High as well. Um, we'll see. Okay, guys, so now that we've pretty much looked at everything she comes with, we have Heather herself. She is really cute, and she was actually quite easy to get out of the box, so um, we love that. So just like every other Shadow High doll, they are completely in grayscale, so that means they have no color other than their eyes. And some of them do have blush. She has slight blushing, but you can barely see it on camera. But to start off with Heather, she has a light gray skin complexion. 
Her hair is actually really cool. It's split tone, so it's gonna be white and black on either side. I actually had my hair dyed like that um, once. It's in two pigtails, and there's some braids in the front that go all the way back into the pigtails. There's some cool jewelry in her hair. So we have three on each side. So this one says eight. This one has nothing on it. And this one has a cool safety pin. And this one says S, normal, and another safety pin. And they are all in a slightly matte metallic finish. And just when you thought her hair couldn't get even more crazier, she has another ring right here that's held in by hair right here and hair right here. And there's just this extra piece of hair that hangs down from both sides. So she has a white one and she has a black one, but there is some gray streaks in the black. And there are some tendrils hanging down from the sides. They are quite gelled. Speaking of the gel, there's not that much in her hair other than these right here, but it's an easy wash. So for Heather's face, she has black eyebrows, but there is some glitter in them. I really do not like the glitter in the eyebrows. I think that's quite ugly and I'm not sure if I can remove that, but I'll try. As for her makeup, she has a white eyeshadow on and there's some black at the edges. And for whatever reason, she outlined her eye to make it look bigger as if she doesn't really have bigger eyes. So um, work. And there is some glitter under that as well. And she has slightly blue eyes. I know they look very blue on camera, but it's slight in person, trust me. Heather really likes her glitter, black glittery lipstick. And I also really do not like that. It kind of reminds me like someone just ate like a bunch of sugar and it's just on their lips. For Heather's earrings, she's wearing these bamboo hoops that say shadow and they're completely silver. She also has on a black choker that has some silver studs all the way around it. And the middle one says SH, kind of see it right there. Moving down to Heather's outfit, she is wearing this kind of like a creamy white pleather jacket. And I love it so much and I'll show you why. But it has all of the generic little jacket details. So we have some fake zippers, some fake studs, the collar, all that. And then on the side, it has a patch that says shadow hide. It's in white and black and it is an actual like patch. And it has some bone details on the sleeve and it actually does say it on both sleeves. Then if we turn it around, we have an entire skeleton like rib cage and it's so cool. And there's also some lace up details that are actually tied and there's some aglets and all that. This is a really cool jacket. And I really want Shadow High to go in the alt gothic kind of fashion route. I really want them to differentiate themselves from Rainbow High because like, you know, Rainbow High is very bougie, very preppy. I would love Shadow High to be the opposite of that. So for future drops, I really hope that they do more like alt edgy kind of goth styles. I think that'd be so cool. If we move down to her dress, she is wearing a fake leather snake print dress. It has some black detailing and some fake zippering going right down here and to the side. It's also just a very funky shape and I really do like it. And of course it's in black and white, so you don't really know what color she would be. So it's just black, white, and gray. Also a fun fact about her jacket is you can actually keep it at her shoulders because there is an elastic inside of it that holds around her shoulders. So it just stays up for you. So that's actually really cool. Cool. So as you guys may or may not know, Shadow High Dolls have pointier nails than Rainbow High Dolls and hers are black. And she actually has a painted on thumb ring that is silver. And I think she's the only one that actually has this. So that's actually really cool. And I actually do prefer the rings to be like that because the rings, if you guys collected Ever to High or Monster High Dolls would know that they come off pretty easy and you lose them fast. So if it's part of the hand and it's molded, I don't mind it. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you like physical rings you could take off or do you like them molded on? As for her shoes, she's wearing these white ankle booties that have black bottoms and there's this cool serpent in a silver metallic going around the heel and you can see it right there it's also giving reputation so yeah so that is basically heather's first outfit i'm going to bring out her second outfit so we can look into that and then we'll put her in it so um yeah okay for heather's second outfit it is three pieces so we have this snake print mesh top it is a crop top by the way and then we have the old leather black kind of corset going around super cute it has all these little studs on it and has some black straps that have some silver hardware right there and it all velcros in the back and again we're sticking with the snake print theme and she has some snake print pants so um they're just pants that are made of snake print and they're black white and gray and they have some real little faux pockets on them they're really cute now if we move on to her shoes so they're these heels that have kind of a laced up back to them and a black band right here to hold around the ankle and i just like the shape of them and of course they're in snake skin because she's a snake print kind of gal the bottoms are fully black but mine is kind of chipping right there which is expected with you know painted shoes yeah it's a really cool shoe mold and um, it's very different but um i can't wait to see what she looks like with these on so it's time for heather to take a little outfit change so i'll be right back 
and she is fully dressed up in her second outfit and I actually think it's really cute. Um, I didn't notice but there's these cute little slits on the inner corner so you can kind of like see the actual shoes and I thought that was really cute. But like I actually do like this outfit. Um, the pants are a little tough to get on but once you get them on they're good. But like I feel like sitting her in these is not going to be easy because they are made of a pleather so um, you've been warned. <laughs> Honestly though she's so cute. I really can't wait to wash her hair because right now it's looking a little messy and you know me I like my doll's hair to be nice and cute. Very excited to wash her hair you know. Okay guys I'm gonna get her back into her first outfit and then we can end up this review and, and see my final thoughts on Heather. So BRB. Okay guys, so I've gotten Heather back into her first fit. As I mentioned before, make sure you do not cut the elastics that are up here. And there are some down here as well, so you could put it around her wrist right here so it just stays down a little better. So um, when you're unboxing her, just remember don't cut those elastics. But anyways guys, it is the end of the review and now it is time for my final thought. So I love Heather, I think she's really cool. I think she embodies what I want Shadow High to go further on in the future. I want to see more edgy alternative goth look. I don't want it to just be a carbon copy of Rainbow High but just with no color. I feel like that'd be kind of just pointless. Let's hope we could get more of that. Because even this is still a little preppy with the dress and all, even though it's snake print, it has all the buckle details, I still feel like it could have been a little bit edgier. But it is a really nice outfit and I actually do love it. I also do love how her hair is quite intricate, even though it looks like it's just two ponytails. I like all the hair jewelry and even these little dangly bits are kind of cool. Um, you can't really see them from the front, but you know, once I judge it around, you'll probably be able to see them. I do feel like if a kid is playing with these, these are going to get lost really easily because they're just like loose strands of hair pretty much so um yeah other than that i think she's pretty good she doesn't have many flaws no defects that i can see of as well she has just like a little glue spot up here but like i feel like every rainbow high doll has that kind of just like the normal now at this point do i recommend getting her for 29 dollars? honestly i feel like she's a great first doll if you're very interested in the shadow high dolls like either her or chanel these are the two best ones you can't at me at that natasha who and i don't know i just really love her aesthetic but then that that's just me you know if you're not into the kind of edgy kind of like aesthetic then maybe another one would be your favorite but honestly I love her and I would recommend her to anyone I feel like she's just really nice she has soft hair but anyways guys that is the end of today's review make sure to come back tomorrow for the next doll in my shadow high week it's gonna be a five day event so um yeah <laughs> if you're new to my channel hi my name is Jay and I do doll stuff duh and you know we're rainbow high stands on this channel so you know if you're looking for upcoming reviews you know I'm your I'm your gay so you know you know follow me and if you aren't following me on Instagram Instagram or a TikTok, it's also at Zombie X Corn. So follow me there too, you know. Three for three, we stand. And anyways, guys, I will see you in the next Shadow High review, which is tomorrow. So bye for now.